everything you are about to see was filmed with the little Panasonic Lumix G100. Hmm, I actually look pretty good. Hello, as a lawyer, I can afford any camera I want, but I still chose the highly affordable Panasonic Lumix G100. Why? Well, I'll tell you. You see, I've had this for over two weeks now. In many different situations, locations, and lighting conditions. Making videos and taking pictures, 1080p, 4K, time-lapse, slow motion. Using all kinds of lenses and lights and filters. And this is a small little pancake 20 millimeter. And this is the 25 1.4 on autofocus. And this is the 15 1.7. They're all really small lenses and I like how they all have the same millimeter thread size so I can use the same ND filter on all of them. And compared to other cameras I've been using, I've found myself trusting this camera more for several things. Like keeping a face in focus no matter what the background. This camera has great face tracking autofocus. Once it finds a face, it locks on and keeps it in focus. Unlike other cameras which seem to like to drift back and forth from the background. Speaking of background, you notice the glass back there? A lot of shiny reflective surfaces like glass and mirrors really mess with the autofocus systems and cameras. But this camera doesn't even have a lot of problem with it. Once it found my face, it just, it just stayed locked on. Another thing I love about this camera is how sharp it is. It's one of the first things I notice when I see pictures or video taken with this camera, even with a tiny little kit lens that it comes with. Another thing I'm amazed with is the color. Panasonic has improved their color science even more. So now the skin tones are even more amazing. This, by the way, is the Olympus 45 1.8. And this is the little Lumix 20mm 1.7 pancake lens. And this is the little tiny 12 to 32 kit lens that comes with the camera. I'm showing you different looks you can get with different lenses on this camera, but I'm also backing it up to show you that this is real. This is not a green screen shot. I just like the light things really cool. And you don't really realize how good the image stabilization is until it's off. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things you don't really appreciate until you don't have it. People don't realize that there's a bunch of stuff secret working inside the camera that you aren't even aware of. There, I just turned the stabilizing back on. The lens is not stabilized. This is just the camera doing it, and it's only in standard mode. This isn't even in high mode. And of course, the size. This is a small camera, and I love small cameras. When I have to grab a camera real quick, just to do some quick B-roll thing, or I always grab a small camera over a big camera. This is definitely more of a travel camera than most interchangeable lens cameras. And this is a smart camera. It recognizes faces and focuses on them really well. I'm trying to do a shot here. I'm sorry. <laughs> it does great auto white balance too. I just turned it on. I'm, I'm in a parking lot. It's just a parking lot. And uh, it does great auto everything. I, I just turn it on. I don't have to adjust anything. It, it follows my face, does auto white balance. It's great. The audio quality is amazing, especially if you use a good external microphone like a lavalier mic or like this or a shotgun mic. And when you're shooting at 60p like this, everything looks sharper and crisper and more three-dimensional like you're shooting in front of a green screen or something, but you're really not. I love this look. I love it. Check this out. This is so cool. This camera is shutter speed so fast you don't even need an ND filter. And you can change the shutter speed while the camera's recording like right now. So look, the background's white, right? You can't see what's back there. I'm going to adjust the shutter speed. Look at this. All the way to 1 16,000th of a second. Now the background is really dark and it's cool. I'm going to make it a 10,000 here. Hang on. 10,000. My face is black, so I'm going to put some light on. Here comes the light on my face. So this is how I get these looks. I, I make the background darker. Normally, I have to use an ND filter for that, but there's no filter on this lens. This is just shutter speed. And the shutter speeds on this camera are so fast. 1 16,000th of a second. That is mind-blowing. Wow. Sure, this thing can do 24p like right now, but me personally, I like 60p, like right now. I just love the three-dimensional look that it gives. Some of you might call it a video look. I don't care. I love comic books. I grew up looking at those 3D postcards from the 60s. I just love that three-dimensional look, like you just reach out and touch it. That's just me. I like 60p. If you like 24, this camera does that too. Obviously, one of the great things about this camera is you can change the lens, so you can get an endless amount of creative looks. And what I like about these Micro Four Thirds lenses is how small they are. Look at this, I got six of them right here, and they take about as much space as maybe two full-frame lenses. They're small, they're lightweight, I love it. This has all the same features as the big professional photography cameras, but it's crammed into a much smaller body, so you can take it with you wherever you go, much more portable, but it can take the same quality professional images and video. You have lots of control over the white balance and the colors, so you can really dial in the colors you want and get really cool pictures.
even used the G100 to make some recipe and lifestyle videos for our health channel this week. And it did really well. The shots look beautiful. So is the G100 a good vlogging camera? Well, I just showed you 20 different vlogging scenarios. So yes, I think it's a great vlogging camera. <laughs> but what have I been saying all along? If you know photography, if you know what you're doing, you can take good video, good vlogs, good pictures with any camera. This particular one just helps makes things a lot easier and there's a lot of things I like about it, which is why I told you about it. And that's what my channel is about. It's to telling people about things they don't really think much about, they don't know about, you know, alternative ways of doing things, less expensive ways of doing things, just using what you have lying around, being creative with what you have, and not having to buy the most expensive, biggest bells and whistles things that's out there. And I want to thank BNC Camera again for telling me about this camera. If Rob over there didn't call me up and tell me about it, I wouldn't even know about it or have it. If you want this camera, I'll put the link down below. I don't get anything for it. I just want to help keep camera stores alive. Photography is just too much fun. I love it. So that's what I'm about. And if you like my channel, tell your friends about my channel, Marcus Picks, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.